93 94 end of level 10 <sighs> That's all I can take. That's all I can take of the fitness gram. The fitness gram pacer test. I'm done. I'm done. Let's get into this Cliff Town tutorial. Let's go. Oh, that's a tough one. I made it to 94, I think. That's, uh, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, so right off the bat here, we're gonna go ahead and do a flame charge right off to the left. Very clean, and this little charging jump right here, this is the charging jump that I'm talking about here. This is the real shit that gets the bitches, the MILFs or the gills, depending on your preference. Really, the, I think this is, there's a lot of contention about the proper way to get around this corner. I'm thinking charging jump against this to avoid the fucking bonk. Let's keep looking. Boom, a lot of newer players have trouble with this jump right here. Now this jump is where all the bitches are at. You basically just keep the momentum from your charge and then you fucking full hop right there, charge out of the air and then just glide buffer that charge just around, uh, hug the wall as you do it and you'll be good to go. There's a lot of leeway with it so long as you get the full uh, full hop height there. Uh, you really preserve the momentum from your charge there. Okay, we're going around here. Now notice that I go down from the side of the fucking bridge right here. This puts me in a good position. I could just stay on top of the bridge there like that. Um, but it would put me in an unfavorable position in order to uh, hit the guy and the lady and her... Uh, cauldron of delicious soup let's keep watching this little jump gives a lot of newer players trouble in fact most things in this level give newer players trouble and to the newer players i have to say get your fucking balls out of your ass and just go for it just go for it this route is sick uh it's fucking dope you just got to do the right things you do the full hop into the charge glide again the key is that we're preserving momentum from the charge as we go around this edge right you can see i'm already like halfway across by the time i even start gliding and that just makes things that much easier for me i don't even really have to do a wall glide here i can just charge around the side by the time i glide a little bit i can just charge around the side like that and as long as you're hugging the wall as you charge around you're gonna land on that little uh this little ledge right here move up now key movement right here <clears throat> One thing that I had a lot of trouble with this part in the past, see these fodders down here? They'll be in your way if you don't do very specific movement leading up to this spot. When you're coming up these two platforms right here, stay straight with your camera. Don't try to be too overly optimal and don't turn your camera too far to the right in that sense. Keep going straight as you do this flame charge, then turn to the right as you do that. And then that'll get the that'll push the fodder somewhat in a way away from the cauldron, not every time, but most of the time it does work. And in this case, it did work. You could just double flame hit them and then grab that red out the air and keep it moving. Let's uh, let's keep watching here. Again, preserving the charge momentum when we do that full hop, that's big dick energy, big dick energy. Turn around, charge. You're noticing a big key here with all this shit is we're preserving momentum from our charge. So really we're trying to jump as quickly as possible out of our charge. And there is a cooldown from when you stop your charge to when you can jump and you have to get a feel for that timing for when you let go of the square button to when you press the X button. You can see there's a little bit of a timing difference there. Those inputs are a little early on the viewer down there, but basically you want to have that timing down for when you let go of your charge, still holding that momentum in whatever direction with your joystick and pressing X to get the full height of the jump charge glide, or you could just charge on top of this. Now here in this little spot right here, you could actually go for a little strat where you flame charge the box and then flame charge jump with that same flame to hit the fucking rocket. But actually, as it turns out, that strat's a little slower. So I just opt to do the old strat now where you charge through full hop and then flame it. You could stay a little bit further away if you want to really maximize the height of your flame, but you could also get up right up close to it like I did here and it still works just fine. Let's keep watching. Hit those two guys. That guy will body block you. I just jumped over him. I did get a little bit of pushes there. Ooh, beautiful jump on the little fucking platform back there. Look at that shit. Look at that fucking shit. I mean, look at this. Boom. If your movement's looking a little awkward coming up into this spot, fuck it. Just do a little jump on the platform and charging jump up that. And again, if you want to charging jump up this one, you got to do the left right strat. So that way you can maximize the height from the charging jump. So that way you can get up this a little. You can get it going straight on, but I find it happens more consistently when I do a little left right movement, a little diagonal movement going up. But Tony Hawk's 50 50 grind. Kill this bitch, she's dead. Kill this bitch, she's dead. The key with those is you just flame them. I'm not even gonna go back. The key is just you flame them and then you charge glide. There's really not much else to it. The gems just end up in the right spot for you with that. 
Go off to the right, circle around, beautiful, beautiful. Now look at this, these gems. These are mwah, mwah, river there, she beautiful fucking gems, you motherfucker. These are the gems you want in the spot right there. These gems can be in a number of different configurations because one of the few elements of RNG in this game is the trajectory at which gems fly out of their spawn point, which in this case was a strong box where all these yellows and greens and reds were from. So in this particular case, I got very lucky, but sometimes you may have to do some awkward walking movement in order to collect all these gems. You can do uh, fucking charging jumps. We call them magic stairs up those stairs, but they're, it's not the most super consistent thing. So I usually don't opt for them. Definitely flame charge that box right there. And this one too, why not? And jump around the side right there. Now, the thing to remember about this little section right here when you're practicing it is that you need to do this charging jump earlier rather than later. Like if you charging jump any point later, like when you see the fucking, uh, when you, when you get past this spot right here, that's when you're not going to be able to charging jump anymore. Cause once you're going down or up hard enough on an incline, the game doesn't let you do charging jumps anymore. So bear that in mind, jump early there. And even if you need to glide for a moment, you'll notice I glided for a little moment. It's uh, it's worth compared to just not being able to jump at all there and go around with that strap. Hold square X left up. You can see on the inputs there. And then that'll let you do a charging jump into another charging jump to perfectly make it across this. Make sure, now this is very important, super important fucking concept right here. Make sure that you flame on beats two and four of the song right here. Let's see how, let's see what I did. Oh, I was off with my timing there. So that's just bad musicianship right there. And I definitely recommend getting a better sense of rhythm if you don't have that down already. Really big, really big mistake on my part there. Beautiful flame charge jump right there. Just beautiful stuff. Um, it's really not that bad. That flame charge jump looks funky, but it's not that bad. I'm going to scoot back a little bit here. This bird, this is where, okay, we're in bird territory right now. Bird up, bird up. Birds will fuck you. They're just going to fuck you. It's very rare that you get a perfect set of birds, um, but essentially you can influence them based off of when they come on camera and how close you are to them at what angle you're approaching them. So that's what affects their cycles now, or that affects how they see you and how they go down. But with this particular bird, you want him to go down to the left and he went down to the right this time. So that's not exactly an optimal first bird. Luckily, I'm able to recover it with this next gem right here. Let's watch it full speed. Grab that guy. You could also flame charge jump that guy. Keep moving. Ballsy charging jump. Again, I was at an incline there, so you want to be careful with that charging jump. Sometimes it doesn't come out. That, see how this bird's coming down right there? Coming down to the right, that's exactly what you want. And the way that happens is if you're bearing a little bit to the right here. Not too much, but a little bit to the right is what's going to be the key. Notice how I'm a little bit off-center to the right. That's what gets him to go down to the right like that. You can do some uh, skitter jumps going to that spot, but don't be too rambunctious, or else you will miss the homin from that uh, gem from that bird. And uh, that guy, you just got to pray, basically. That's birds right there. The birds are hoes. These were particularly okay birds. These were good birds, except for the first one, I would say. Right there, coming out of the dragon. All you got to do is hold, uh, take a look at my input viewer. I'm holding down right. Walk a second. I even charge a little bit just to be ballsy. Charge for a moment. Just give yourself some extra momentum off the edge. Full hop and then uh, charge glide. Charge into the first box here and then flame charge the second one. That'll give you a perfect position uh, to short hop charge down onto this section right here. Grab these. Make sure you charge a reasonable amount of time here. If you're too quick here, you will miss one of these two gems. Jump down. Glide, or don't glide, but push up against the wall as you're coming down. Try not to bonk. Grab that bitch. You may have to re-jump. Because when you're pushing down against the wall like that, the camera gets a little wonky. You'll know usually here, I'll get down to the ground and then I'll re -jump. See, I got another jump right there just to make sure I was realigned perfectly. Come around. Push up against that. Now, here you can actually jump over this little side uh, panel or whatever. This little uh, arm rail of the uh, bridge. But... Um, I opt not to. Uh, sometimes you bonk on it. Same thing with the bridge earlier in the level. You can bonk on that when you try to charge and jump onto it. So, you know, honestly, it's it's a safer bet to not even bother. With this guy, normally, with most thieves, you're going to be wanting to try to do a flame and then charge jump, of an FCJ flame charge jump. But with this particular guy, if you do that, you put yourself at a serious risk of missing this gem on the right right here. Uh, and apologies for the cursor being on, on the screen for the past minute. But yeah, you put yourself at a risk of having this uh, gem get missed if you do the thief skip, we call it, where you do a flame charge jump on the thief. 
So I opt not to do it on him. Now, there, you'll notice there was a third red gem that was left there. That gem gets automatically collected. Spiral literally spawns on top of it after touching this dragon, so there is no need to grab it beforehand. So I'm holding square X right up right here, and now look at this positioning right here. We're basically going to be able to do a charging jump around this corner, boom, and now we're going to do a charging jump all over the ravine. Give yourself a little glide so you don't bonk. This corner right here, this ledge right here, not super forgiving. So if you're too far on the edge, you will be dealing with some issues, and I have lost runs to that. Jump around so that way you give yourself a nice angle to collect these threes and uh, charging jump out of it. And then flame charge the first box. Look at this. Flame charge first box, and then second box you grab out of the air. So actually, as it turns out, the second box gets grabbed a moment earlier, if not at the exact same time as the first box, and then you're out of there. It's just that easy, guys. It's just that easy, and that's Clifftown for you. One of my favorite levels to do when it doesn't fuck me over. Uh, Chris LBC calls this shit town, and don't let it be a shit town. Let it be a love town, because you'll be making love to these fat mamas, the thick mamas, baby. The thickums. Big dickum thickum. I big frickum, and I frickum when I dickum. I dick a dickum, and I got them, and I got them. Hey, and this is a Spiral 120 tutorial. I'll catch you next time. You know you got it. You know you're the best and you are a fucking legend so i'll see you in the next one we are going to dr shemp baby